This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. Hello and welcome to another episode of Boss's Day Out. Today we're going to meet a boss in an industry that's seeing some very exciting times, aviation. Ten years ago, it would have taken you a month's salary to fly from here to Germany. Today, it's going to take you less than even a quarter of that amount. Mr. Werner Hasen, Director South Asia, Lufthansa German Airlines. That's who we're going to meet today, an exciting industry and an even more interesting man. Let's go see the world through his lens. How are you? I'm fine, doing my early morning exercises. What motivates you? I'm an amateur photographer and it's the early morning light, you know, which gives, us, gives you a lot of uh, you know, warm uh, colors and uh, makes things look uh, nicer and more natural. Well, Mr. Reason, do we have a very busy day planned today? Yes, uh, we have a lot of uh, activities today. Uh, it's, uh, it's a normal working day actually, which starts right now. I'm just. Uh, breathing some fresh air here to prepare myself for the day, uh, you know, mentally, physically and uh, business-wise. Okay, so we're sitting here at the Heathson's breakfast table and uh, Mr. Heath, uh, Mr. Heathson has enjoyed a nice early morning walk. What else uh, you enjoy? We, we know that you both enjoy, in fact, cooking a lot. Well, it started uh, many, many years ago. And uh, for us, cooking means togetherness. It means that uh, we can, uh, let's say, uh, experience other cultures. Mr. Heeson was telling me we have a dinner this evening at home. So does all, all the cooking, actual cooking, come down to you, all the hard work? Does he just decide the menus? No, we are cooking together. <laughs> together. We both are standing in the kitchen and doing the work together. Oh, that's nice. And does this mean you're also involved in your in-flight catering as well? If you have, uh, let's say, um, a heart for a soft corner for, for cooking and, and ingredients, uh, then, of course, there's a, there's a very strong link between in-flight catering, in-flight cuisine. Um, you know, we are in the service industry. You have to understand the needs of the people. And uh, when it comes to India, I mean, India is probably uh, one of the biggest challenges for an airline because Indians are very particular about food. Lufthansa flies to five destinations in India currently, um, to the south, to the west, to the north, and um, each region has its own cuisine. But I'm not, let's say, the decision maker on the, on the Indian uh, in-flight uh, cuisine ingredients. You know, this is only possible with the support of professionals. Okay. Well, that's uh, the connection, as Mr. Heeson just said. We have another very quick meeting here at his home, and then we're going to head off to the Lufthansa office and find out all the new and exciting things that are happening there in the airline. Please come in. Hello, good morning. So Welcome. this is uh, Alan Chaco. Okay. Alan Chaco is uh, responsible for all service-related uh, areas in our organization. Okay. Tell us a little bit about him. What is he like to work with? What's he like as a person? Uh, you <laughs> couldn't have a better boss than him. <laughs> That's what they all say. Uh, to be very honest with you, uh, I work very closely uh, with uh, Mr. Hazen. Uh, the amount of freedom he gives you to do your own thing, to be creative, is incredible. I've never seen that uh, before. I'm not saying that because I have to say something today, but this is a fact. Mr. Reason, do you speak Hindi at all? I don't, and I would never admit how much I understand. It's always good to understand sentences which I'm not supposed to understand. <laughs> okay, great. Well, I'm going to leave the two of you um, to discuss your meeting here and uh, join you in a couple of minutes. Thank you. Okay. So, you know, the, uh, you know, people can hear the announcement. Well, we're 
we're on our way to the Lufthansa office, but as we're walking around the house here, we, I just couldn't help noticing samples of uh, Mr. Heeson's photography everywhere. So Heeson, tell us a little bit about some of these pictures. They're wonderful. Um, well, everyone has his little uh, special specialities, and I'm concentrating or emphasizing on still photography, okay. uh, landscapes. And this, for instance, has been, uh, was taken in Egypt a couple of years ago on the Lake Nasser. I try to play with, uh, with lights and colors using you know, the different light conditions in the morning and in the evening. And what's this? This is actually a coffee table book, please have a seat, which uh, was produced in February last year on the occasion of the opening of the Hyderabad route. Oh. This is an interesting way of combining actually your hobbies with your, with your work. Absolutely. Nice it, was, it was great fun. That was, uh, let's say, um, my uh, team and me entering the, uh, the publishing business. Yeah. And that was the first editorial job of my life. So now the five uh, cities that you service are Delhi, Bombay, Bangalore, Hyderabad, and, and Chennai. Chennai. OK, and um, tell us a bit about your strategy going forward. Which are the areas you're going to be concentrating on? Are you looking at opening more destinations? What's the growth chart? Um, on the passenger side, uh, we started uh, way back in 59, mm. 1959, Lufthansa started flying from Kolkata. Mm. In 2003, we had uh, 23 frequencies in India, and now, at the moment, we are having 38. And in a few weeks from now, because of Hyderabad, we're going to have 42. Okay, so right now, what would be your market share? Well, the market share depends on the, on the traffic areas. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, the market share in general is in the vicinity of 13 to 14 percent okay. overall. That means all international traffic generated okay. out of India. But uh, with all this growth, I guess the most lo logical question that everyone is asking these days is what about infrastructure constraints? Is that proving to be uh, a huge block in terms of uh, moving forward? Frankly speaking, it is a main obstacle uh, for all the airlines, uh, including Lufthansa. Um, however, we are in a very lucky situation because we were the first ones to grow. Of course, I mean, further growth plans are depending on can we land, do we have um, the space to uh, park the aircraft. But uh, we are expecting that with the infrastructure measures with the government has decided already that, let's say, after three years to five years with the um, opening up of the new airport in Bangalore with the plans for Delhi and Mumbai, mm -hmm. the situation will change. Mm -hmm.